Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh One, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue talking about the Imperial Guard as we get into Trooper Arden of the Katachan 301st Regiment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40K content every 12 hours. And of course, if you have any suggestions, just comment down below. And don't forget to share this with your friends if you found it interesting. But with that said, let's get into 40 Facts on Trooper Arden. One of the most famous close quarter fighters to have served in the bloodiest war zones of the Spinward Front was Trooper Arden of the Katachan 301st Regiment. As a son of the most lethal death world in the known galaxy, Arden was already a formidable fighter before most men had even learned to spell, a skill that according to his fellow Katachans, Arden never actually acquired. It is reported that Arden once intercepted one of the Katachan's lethal flying swap mambas and wrestled it to the ground before tearing its wings clean off, and that he once engaged a giant blackback viper, surviving a bite from this most poisonous of death world predators and breaking its spine over its knees before collapsing from the effects of its normally lethal bite. These rumors are widespread, but like every story told of Arden before being recruited into the forces of the Astra Militarum, almost impossible to confirm. Records officially begin as soon as Arden was tithed into the Imperial Guard, and a whole new world of potential violence opened up before him. Reports logged by the Commissars attached to the newly raised 301st Regiment suggest that Trooper Arden resented the training he received in use of the standard issue LAS gun, preferring to wield his Devil's Claw, a meter-long blade favored by the people of Katachan. Despite his misgivings, Arden sergeants insisted he at least attempted to train in the use of basic range weaponry, as a vulgar report on Troop Arden later confirmed. For some unknown reason, however, a second report was filed only a solar week later, simply reading, never mind. Trooper Arden's first taste of battle, at least as an Imperial Guardsman, was on the planet of Ashen Regis, when his regiment was tasked with blocking an orc advance across the world's primary continent. It was because of the bloody example set by Trooper Arden that the freshly formed Katachan 301st exceeded all expectations, not only successfully blockading the advance of an entire arm of the Orc Horde, but pushing it back as well. Trooper Arden was to be found at the forefront of the advance, where reports credit him with slaying up to 23 brutal Orc warriors in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Trooper Arden is confirmed to have served in at least eight other major battles within the 301st Regiment before vanishing during an assault on the Orc Warboss camp. However, persistent rumors have since placed him in no fewer than 13 other major campaigns after his supposed disappearance. Whether these are all tall tales of Imperial Guardsmen or an intervention by the will of the God Emperor himself remains unverified. And those were 40 facts on Trooper Arden of the Katachan 301st Regiment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to share it with your friends if you think that this guy is stronger than Sly Marbo. Um, definitely comment in the comment section below. Uh, all the toughest um, Imperial Guardsmen always come from Katachan, of course. It makes sense. They've been fighting since they were born. Um, and and they have the individuality that, they, um, that other regiments don't have. Kind of like the... Um, the Death Corps of Krieg, uh, they couldn't really, you couldn't have a Sly Marble, you couldn't have a Trooper Arden within the Death Corps of Krieg, because they're all pretty much the same, they're all like stormtroopers, they, they all wear their helmets, they go into battle, they die and come back, or don't come back, um, whereas like the Katachan, you can actually distinguish, uh, you know, who's who and whatnot. Um, but yeah, what, what do you guys think of this? Um, it, is he basically taking the place of Sly Marble? Um, comment down in the comment section below. It would be really nice to create our own, like, because um, clearly this is just uh, what Imperial Guardsmen tell newcomers to, like, rile them up and, like, you know, have them go and attack um, with the thought that, hey, we're being led by Trooper Arden or, hey, we're being led by Sly Marble or even giving, like, or generals giving this information to their regiments uh, to inspire them and to fight ferociously. Um, so it might not even be true, uh, which is why he quote-unquote disappeared. But it will be pretty nice to, to do that for our own um, uh, 
model or, or unit, what would be the best Imperial Guardsman other than the, uh, what other Imperial Guard Regiment would be better, best, better than the Catachan to create a Sly, Mor Sly Marble-esque um, character? Comment down in the co comment section below and let me know what he would do. For instance, would he be a Rough Rider and would he have captured the most lethal, um, you know, Fenrisian wolf or like a salamander from the salamanders and actually writing that instead of um, your basic mount or whatever. Uh, comment down in the comment section below. See how creative you guys can get. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, watching and liking and doing all that good stuff. Don't forget we have a Patreon. If you want to support us on Patreon, it's a simple dollar a month and it helps us create more videos. Because of that, we've been able to post uh, every 12 hours for you guys. So thank you so much all patrons and thank you so much all viewers. If you can't support us on Patreon, don't worry. Like I said, simply by commenting, uh, liking, sharing, all that kind of stuff, it helps out the channel. But with that said, I'll talk to you tomorrow. This was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out. Oh, <laughs>